Now, I've been asked quite a lot, how do you put a ribbon onto one of the either pom-pom or non-pom-pom blankets? So I'm going to quickly show you. I know a lot of people might say it's simple, but it's not simple for everybody. This is a 3D puffy blanket. It's a non-pom-pom blanket. And this design was done by Jelly Todd. Now, I've done it as a double-sided. So I've got this lovely lilac on the bottom. And that's why I'm using this lilac ribbon. It is lilac. I know it looks blue, but it's not. So what I'm going to do is, I want the, the lilac to go over this white flower. The way to measure it, you're better to have too much ribbon than not enough. So we've got the bottom. Again, the same amount for that top part up there. And then I did one extra. That takes in the weaving of the ribbon. On the side, I've done the same. Oops. So one, two, three. So again, I did three times the amount that I needed. So that's this side. That's the other side. And I've done one extra. Now, I'm going to put my bow here, so my joining of my ribbon is going to be here, and you won't see it. So what I'm going to do is I want to go over the white flower and under the black one, and then I want to go over this white one, under and over, so you can see it. So what I need to do is I need to go under this one. You can take it right to the edge if you want, but I want it to go over this first full flower. It's up to you where you do it, and it's really easy. All you have to do is just go, we're going to weave in and out, so we're going to go under, I can get it to go, under this black one. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So I'm going to go under this black one. Try and keep your ribbon straight. It will want to twist. You can do this really fast if you want, but you're going to spend a long time untwisting it. I do it as a work. So weave in and out. Try and keep it the same way. So go under under that one and then at the corner I'm only going to go over this one to take me over that corner and then come under. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all the excess through except for maybe just a, a six inches or so. Just keep it all straight as you pull it and that way you're not going to have too much trouble with it. Now I'm going to leave about that amount. Put that into the middle and then pull this one. Just try and keep it nice and straight as you're putting it in. Now if it's twisted just stretch it round the right way, like that. Check your other side. Keep checking your other side. You can't see it very well. So it's not all twisted underneath. And then gently put that back into the middle. It's easier if you keep that in the middle. Now just gently pull this one. Keeping your ribbon straight. It's so much easier doing it this way and straightening as you go than belting right round it. So just keep your ribbon straight on this side. And on the back, put all that excess into the middle. Right back. So 
So we're going to go over and under. Over and under. Over and under. All the way up. Until we get up to here. And then just pull in your ribbon. Just keep it nice and straight. Twist on it there. It is a little bit fiddly, but it is worth it. So once you're happy with your ribbon all the way around and on that other side, just check that it's not all twisted or anything. Just give it a little check. Just make sure it's not all twisted up and you've got enough ribbon so that you can see it. That it's not all squished away tight and you don't want it all squished away in there. Now there we go. So I'm going to cut that edge off. I'll keep that. I can make a little bow with it. Now this part here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot. Don't do it too tight. I'm going to tie a knot there. Now you're not going to see that knot because it's going to be hidden underneath the bow. I'm going to trim it again, quite small, quite short. Now carefully with this part, do it very carefully. Just pull it up just a little bit. I'll try and get it so that you can see it. So pull it up just a little bit and get yourself a lighter or something. And I'm just going to very gently singe the edges. Now that stops it from unraveling. Can you see how it's fraying a little bit? I'm going to zoom in a bit more. Now if you can see the edge of that ribbon is starting to fray. So if you get the lighter and just singe those edges a little bit. Just watch you don't burn your wool. There we go. Now what that does is stops it all from fraying. Now so I've got my little my little knot there. Don't worry, you won't you're not gonna see that once we're finished. Now I'm gonna make a bow for this. Now get myself a piece of this. Look how quick this is. You can turn it that way if you want, or you can have it that way. I'm going to turn it this way. It just becomes like a normal bow maker. Just give yourself a bit of a tail. I'll move the blanket out the way just now. There we go. Now give yourself a bit of a tail. Around the front leg. Around the back. Around the front and a figure eight. Now come around the front on this one around the back of it and then around the front hold this ribbon to the back and the one that's already at the back around the front through the hole and hold it in your hand now what you're going to do is just slightly turn that and make yourself like a letter d can you see that letter d shape okay 
Now you're going to oops, tie that through. That's my big long end. Bring that through. Just bring it to the front so that you can see that you've got it nice and even. You need that bow nice and even. And then just pull it tight. That round. There. Now just wiggle it back and forward, back and forward. Check the fronts nice and neat the way you want it. Just like that. There we are. And then just slide it off. Like that. Perfect. Brilliant. And look at that. Super, super little bow. There we go. All I need to do now is cut my ribbon to get perfect fish tails, fold your piece of ribbon in half, cut on the diagonal from the folded side to the other side and you get perfect little fish tails. I'm going to do this other side. There we go. Nice sharp scissors. Now get my blanket back. Now there's your blanket. And there's your little double bow. Now you can make as many parts to the bow as you want. And that will go on there. Now how do I get that on there so it's secure? Now you can't see the edges of this part because it's tucked under there. So I've got a couple of stitches in the back of the bow and I'm just going to stitch it over the top there so you won't see that knot that's in the blanket. Now you can use fabric glue but I would rather stitch it. I'd rather stitch it on just to make sure it's nice and secure. Here is our little blanket with its lovely little bow on there and you've got your ribbon all around and that's the other side. Now I'm going to attach a bow on there as well. I can attach a bow there or I can just leave it. It's it's up to you if you put a bow on either side. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Give the video the thumbs up. Now it is just to show people how to put ribbon in. Not everybody knows how to do it. I know there's a lot of people out there who'll be thinking that's just a silly question. It's not. If you don't know, you won't ever learn if you don't ask questions. So there you go. That's how to put ribbon on your blanket. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.